Hello, it's Diane, and I have two books to show you, and they're um, themed books. This first one here has a fairy theme or fantasy theme. Um, normally, I use my cutting mat. I just, you know, leave my cutting mat right here on my table when I do my videos, but I've made such a mess of it with the uh, art journaling I've been doing, and I can't get it to come clean, so I just put a piece of fabric down here as my pretty backdrop. This book is made with old book covers, as usual for me, and made with the Bind It All with one inch rings. And I put on a few charms that I've had forever. There's a little fairy, you can see that. And a, a rose, and a bumblebee. And they're just put on with a Tim Holtz. I forgot what this is called, but one of those Tim Holtz things. And then. I have uh, some Prima flowers that are all off-white and I sprayed them to get the color here and added some pearls and then these pieces of course are from Graphic 45 um, Once Upon a Springtime and then I used Tim Holtz um, book corners there and then the paper line that I used pretty there's a couple of them mostly it's um, the Graphic 45, Once Upon a Springtime, and then I also used the, is it DCWV or is it Recollections, uh, Once Upon a Time, whatever that paper line company is, that's what I used. And then a few other pieces thrown in. So here's the first page. Um, of course, this is from Once Upon a Springtime. Okay. And uh, I used washi tape. To hold this in and so it can flop open and, it, and a picture can be put in there. And here's some more of the Graphic 45 paper. I put this on as a pocket and I have the shipping tag that I distressed and, and glimmer misted and I glued on one of the little stamps and drew some lines on it for journaling. Put some seam binding in that. Um, this one has a postcard from Graphic 45 plus this image. I used a zigzag stitch to stitch them together and then stitch them onto the page. And I have this cute little, oops, you can't see it there, can you? There, a flower border that I stamped around the outer edges and then put another postcard inside the pocket. Here's a page from the Once Upon a Time paper stack. And then this is just a leftover piece of Prima ledger paper, and I used, I glued it on, and then I put washi tape on. And I also used um, some pages from a couple of books. This is from a fairy story book. Um, it has images of fairies on it, and I decorated the margins with washi tape. There's another image there. Once Upon a Time paper. And I have these adorable stamps with these dragons. Can you see that? They're called pocket dragons. And I use these little border pieces, scraps from the Once Upon a Time paper. But those stamps I bought years ago, and I don't know if the company is still around, but I bought them um, online or by mail. I can't remember which, but um, it's VIP is the name of the company. And they look like... The wooden stamps and they look like books. See that? And I just loved these little dragons. So I thought they'd be cute for this fantasy book. Here's the map page, the Treasure Island um, page. And I have a piece of parchment and I put distress ink on it to age it and then stamped um, my background stamp of a map and then took another piece of the parchment and stamped journaling on it and it's just glued right on there and I stamped this ship and distressed it, cut it out and glued it on there and then put a distressed tag in there and a tag with a journaling stamp on it some more pages from Once Upon a Time um, for this one I glued this one on as a pocket and I um, taped this shut so it doesn't it won't come out and I put this ledger paper in here with a little tab pull on it and then just decorated the page with um, graphic 45 
pieces. And here's another, um, the other book. I told you I used a couple of books. And this was a journaling book that I had purchased many years ago when we were on vacation somewhere. And it had drawings on the pages, drawings and quotes. But the drawings were fantasy. So I thought they would be great in here. So this one has some unicorns on it. Put some washi tape at the top. Uh, here's a Webster's Pages page. It has a fairy theme to it. You'll see the other half of that page. This one um, was a scrap. This things to do with the white rose was a strip of paper left over. So I cut that and um, border punched it, or edge corner punched it with that deco edge. And then put washi tape around and put a, a nice piece of paper on there for journaling. This Once Upon a Time sheet I decorated with Graphic 45 tag and a journaling tag, story of today. Since this looks like a storybook, I thought that would be appropriate. Here's another page from the storybook. On this page, here's um, Once Upon a Time, so this one says Off on an Adventure, and I just cut that in half and put them in as small, shorter pages. But I made this into a pocket, put a clip on it, and then decorated it with Graphic 45 pieces. And this one has some journaling that I've added and then more Graphic 45 pieces. Here's another stamp that I have of, it may be hard to see the image because it's pretty um, detailed, but there's a fairy there helping the little tiny fairy with her hat. And I stamped my favorites. And this stamp that I have is um, uh, Stamps Happen. I think I bought it at Michael's many years ago. So there's that stamp. And of course, washi tape decorations. There's another page from that journaling book. And on this page, I again zigzag stitched these two cards together and then stitched them to the page and I stamped the word giggle up here sorry it's hard to see that and then stamped a little border there and then I made a um, little booklet with photo mats in it this one is in the pocket it's just a decoration with a, a border cut that I had made with the Cricut this one has a journaling page. I got a tablet of this at Michael's in the dollar bin. Washi tape all around. And then this one I did leave open for a frame, put some washi tape on to hold it together. And then there's a tag here that's for journaling. A couple other tags just for decorations. These cut up punch out tags match the paper over here. Here's the other half of the Webster's Pages page, and um, I used a couple of the Graphic 45 stamp cutouts to make the tab, but there's the little fairy image that was on this page. I had some paper lace, both in white and in off-white ivory, I guess, and I used the ivory on the top and bottom and then glued some Graphic 45 images on the top. It's another page from the journaling book. I put a little purple tab on it. And a page from the storybook with some washi tape that matches the colors in the pages. This is a Stampin' Up! paper. It kind of looks um, geographical or like it reminded me of water. So I put it on this page with the mermaid. And then on the back page, I had made this little folder out of this craft paper with a design on one side. So that can be used for journaling or photos. And I attached this little metal edge decoration there. And then stamped with this Stampin' Up! set called Forest Friends. And then splattered with my brown marker. I made this polka dot envelope out of a nice sturdy cardstock paper and decorated it with a graphic 45 design here and that's the end of the fairy book 
and I don't think I have time to show the second one, so I'll do that in a second video. So I'll be back. Bye. Leave a comment.